Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of July 3rd, 2016. Two tiny wings entombed in amber reveal the plumage seen in birds today already existed in at least some of their predecessors nearly a hundred million years ago. A new study of the mummified wings indicate they most likely belong to Anontiornithes, a group of avian dinosaurs that became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period. The two new samples contain bone structure, tracks of feathers, and soft tissue. They are the first Cretaceous plumage samples to be studied that are not simply isolated feathers. Normally when feathers are found in amber, they're usually only small fragments or isolated feathers. Skin, muscle, claws, and feather shafts are visible in these samples though, along with the remains of rows of primary flight feathers, secondary feathers, and covert feathers. All are similar in arrangement to modern birds. An X-ray micro-CT analysis revealed that both samples appear to belong to juveniles, based on bone size and the stage of development. Although the feathers appear to be black to the naked eye, microscopic analysis revealed that the flight feathers were most likely dark brown, while the covert feathers ranged from a slightly paler brown to silver or white bands. Because the majority of Burmese amber is used in jewelry and carvings, most fossilized inclusions, such as insects and plant life, are considered impurities that reduce the value of the finished piece. But feathers in Burmese amber are prized for their rarity and beauty, and are cut and polished to highlight the aesthetic value of the prehistoric plumage. The Burmese amber deposits are producing a treasure trove of remarkable fossils, and they document a particularly active time in the evolution of life on land, the Cretaceous Terrestrial Revolution. Flowering plants, pollinating insects, and other animals were diversifying fast during this time. The first ever record of a tumorous facial swelling found in a fossil has been discovered in the jaw of a primitive duck-billed dinosaur. An international group of researchers, including Kate Atchison, a PhD student at the University of Southampton, have documented a type of non-cancerous facial tumor never before encountered in fossil animals. Kate said, this discovery is the first ever described in the fossil record and the first to be thoroughly documented in a dwarf dinosaur. Telmatosaurus is known to be close to the root of the duck-billed dinosaur family tree, and the presence of such a deformity early in their evolution provides us with further evidence that the duck-billed dinosaurs were more prone to tumors than other dinosaurs. The hadrosaur fossil, estimated to be approximately 67 million years old, was discovered in the Valley of the Dinosaurs in the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Transylvania, Western Romania. Scans suggest that the dinosaur suffered from a condition known as a meloblastoma, a tumorous, benign, non-cancerous growth known to afflict the jaws of humans and other mammals, as well as some modern reptiles. It is unlikely that the tumor caused the dinosaur any serious pain during its early stages of development, just as in humans with the same condition. But researchers can tell from its size that this particular dinosaur died before it reached adulthood. The cause of death is unknown, but researchers were left wondering whether the presence of the tumor could have contributed. Predators may attack a member of the herd that looks a little different, or is even slightly disabled by a disease. The tumor in this dinosaur had not developed to its full extent at the moment it died, but it could have indirectly contributed to its early demise. Be sure to enter a free giveaway going on now for your chance to win the Hybrid FX Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos and more. That's all for this week. And until next time. Yeah.